undersigned find it regrettable that there is a considerable disparity between the UCI minimum prize money for men and women. We understand that because competition in the men's field is deeper, more places receive prize money. We do not understand why the women who are receiving prize money receive less than their male counterparts. Therefore, we propose that the UCI show leadership and mandate equal prize money for the top five men and women. I think it was 2007, I was at a cyclocross race and I was at the podium ceremony talking to the guy that won the pro men's race and he said, hey, how about that payday? And I said, I mean, it's all right, I guess. And he said, 2,500 bucks, that's pretty good. 2,500 bucks, I only got 250. I was really kind of stunned. I just thought, what can I do about that? That just seems like such a big thing. And then I thought, you know what? I'll do a petition and send it to the UCI. So I sent a copy of my petition to each commission and then I never heard anything. <laughs> I've always enjoyed riding things. I started out riding horses when I was pretty young and then um, I transitioned to bicycles and then motorcycles towards the end of my cycling career. So I guess it's just in my blood. <laughs> I've won national championships several times. I've been to two Olympics. Georgia Gould, she was sitting off the back that whole climb. She now comes in Beijing in 2008 and London in 2012. I think Georgia's saving a big attack for that round stretch along the bench. Round number two, the U.S. And Aaron Huck, the two lone U.S. representatives in this league. Looks like Georgia Gould has got to come by batting for second. I've been on the podium at the World Championships, so um, I think I have a pretty... I don't know, long experience in the sport. I guess we moved to Vermont as much for our daughter as for ourselves. It seemed to us the perfect place to raise a child. From a bird's eye view, what you'd see in this area is the quintessential New England countryside pastures, fields. It's really the perfect place to live. And um, also a lot of bikes. What does a uh, sheep say? Ah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Quinn is one of the funniest people I've ever met. She's only two, but it's funny that a person that's only two can have a sense of humor. And she's a really sweet person and a really thoughtful person. It's been really an awesome experience to kind of see her developing into this new person. Just the lifestyle of a pro cyclist, definitely you have to kind of do things on the fly. You have to make the most of what you've got. There's a lot of ways that I feel like my previous career has prepared me for this new one. I guess riding bikes is something I do to kind of experience a lot of different emotions. the first or second meeting of the Mountain Bike Commission. At the end of our whole agenda, the chairman said, does anyone have any other issues they want to talk about? And I said, I think maybe we should talk about equal prize money for men and women. Everyone kind of looked around the room and it was me and 10 guys. They all kind of looked around like, yeah, okay, that sounds good, yeah, we can do that. And I was like, what? Was that easy? I was expecting some kind of, you know, 
arguments about why it shouldn't be. Everyone said, yeah. I'm not this advocate that worked tirelessly for years and years. I feel wrong making it sound like that because all I did was say, how about this? And, and it, you know, it helped change some things. I think it's a good moral of the story that even when something seems like it's impossible or it's too big, that if you just kind of step in and just make some sort of movement in the right direction, that sometimes that pays off big. Article 3 of the UCI Constitution states, the UCI will carry out its activities in compliance with the principles of A, equality between all the members without discrimination, end quote. We ask the UCI to honor its commitment to equality.